Hello, you guys! I am so excited for this video. This has been a video I've been waiting to film for like a month now, and it is finally here. It is the empty house tour, and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the entire space, all 5,000 square feet of this house, which is crazy. So let's just head on in. We have so much to go over, and I wanna share with you, of course, everything. This first area is the courtyard, which is unreal. I have a courtyard, you guys. Who has a courtyard? Like, I am so thankful to have something like this. It is so beautiful. We have palm trees in here. There's a fountain in here. And the previous owners had a ton of potted plants in here as well, which I definitely want to emulate that look. This is an area that leads to just one of the units. The other side leads to the other unit. So let's head on into our lower level and I'm going to share with you guys that space first. Okay guys, so we're gonna step down into the living room. So the door is right behind us and this is the living room through this archway here. Now, this living room is beautiful. It is so large and there's of course a focal fireplace, which I love. Now, this fireplace actually features Batch Elder tile work, which is like a prestigious tile worker in Los Angeles. And I love that it features this. It's actually been restored as well because it was originally fully painted over with this red paint. So they completely restored it and I love, love, love the way that this this fireplace looks it's fully working as well um, it has a mantle here and an arch cut out and there's even a plug which I thought was pretty pretty useful and then we have a bunch of windows down here which is really nice because I'm thinking I want to convert this space into like the Lone Fox work area so like big tables cameras and just like an area where it's really bright it's open and I can film content in this space and something else to also note is there are some wood beams here I'm not too sure if these ones are original because the original beams in the top unit seem more original that's this living room I mean it's great it has like an egg shaped window as well which is really fun so let's head into the dining room area and something you guys are going to notice is the light fixtures in this house are insane. Every single light fixture is crazy. So we have this one, which is kind of fun. I mean, I like how the yellow matches the yellow of this dining space. Again, we have the wood beams happening in here and something about the yellow in here makes me want to keep it. I actually really enjoy the yellow in this space. Something that's kind of fun is that all of the windows were actually completely redone. But if you open them, you guys, you can hear the fountain. So like if you're working in here or in the living room over there, you can hear the fountain from the courtyard, which I love. But then when you close it, it's just super quiet. So through this area is our breakfast nook. I love these fluted doors, by the way. This is an olive branch light pendant, like so funky and different. Um, I actually really like this one, so I think I might keep this and try to work with it. But this space is so cute. It has like this really pretty kind of cut in ceiling detail. We have the window trim and some trim work around the areas here. But I absolutely love this like triple arch detail. So we have like some built-ins on either side with these skinny arch cutouts, which I think it's going to be so fun to style these areas with some decor. And then working through here is the kitchen. So in here we have all of the original tile from 1929. It is green with black and then we have yellow. So in here I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do for the space. I love the green tile and the black, but I'm not a huge fan of the yellow and I actually like how they use the yellow on the countertop and backsplash because I'm considering pulling out all of the yellow and putting in marble here, but then keeping the green. That way we still have some of the original mixed with a little bit of a newer kind of modern take. And all of the cabinetry down here, it really needs updated as well. Like as you guys can see, the drawers are like falling apart. So this is definitely gonna be a large work in progress space, but it is a really cute kitchen. Again, with the insane light fixtures, this is such a large fixture for this kitchen. I don't know whoever was thinking this was a good idea. It wasn't. <laughs> but then we're working our way into here, which is the laundry room. And you guys, just the architectural interest that we have going on, like this, and we have a shelf, but then we have all the coved ceilings over here, like all of these coves. It's just such a beautiful space. It's a little spooky in here at the moment. We have some yellow door trim over there and some scary vinyl flooring, but this is gonna be a laundry room that I really think we could like just bring to life. I'm very excited to work on this area. So then we're gonna work over to this side of the kitchen, which is considered the butler's pantry, but I just feel like it's kind of an extension of the kitchen because that kitchen area is pretty small, but we have a bunch of upper cabinets, another countertop, and then some lower cabinets, and more of that tile work, which I love how there's so much of it. 
and then working our way into the hallway area. This is the first bedroom, which is actually a pretty large room. I actually plan to utilize this room as like my storage room. So currently I have that studio space in the apartment. I'm gonna convert that into here. And this room is a little bit larger, which is nice. There are two closet spaces in this room as well. We have a walk-in closet behind the door here. And then there's a little alcove over on the left side that just has some drawers. But let's go ahead and head into a really cool bathroom that's in this space, which I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to renovate yet or if I'm going to keep, but it is such a beautiful space, you guys. Look at this pink and yellow bathroom so this bathroom features like original 1929 tile work but the thing is is that a lot of it is broken a lot of it has been replaced the colors don't match there's just a lot of imperfection in this bathroom if that makes sense and I can't tell if I can live with it or not like I don't know if I want to renovate it and make it a more beautiful more functional space or if I want to keep it authentic so that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to kind of figure out and I'd love your guys's help with that too I really want you guys to be a huge part of the process but let's head into some of the bedrooms. Right outside of the pink bathroom, which is right in front of me, there are two really small closets as well on each side, just linen closets that have these little decals on them that are so cute because they're across all the doors in both units. So I love how that brings in just a little bit of like cohesivity to the space. And then this light is the most beautiful light in both units. It's an alabaster pendant. It's from 1920. And I think it weighs like a hundred pounds. It's such a beautiful piece. I actually might want to relocate it to somewhere where it's more visible. But working our way over here, we have another closet, just like a general, you know, closet to store stuff in. And we do have some additional storage space here. This is like a full built in area, but I love how it has the little wood motifs on it. It's just super cute. Here is the primary bedroom. So so this is the large primary bedroom of the bottom unit. The light fixture, again, look at how crazy that is, you guys. Like, I don't even know what it is. It's like glass bubbles with brass, but this bedroom is beautiful. I love how it has this like pop-out bay window. There's so much lighting happening in here. We have a window over on the other side as well. And then right over here is the closet. So these open up. Now this actually has original, I forget what these are called, but it's where you're supposed to put your sweater so that moths don't get to them. It's like a cedar chest. And I remember the owner telling me that this is like a pretty interesting element of this apartment. We're gonna be walking out here and into the last bedroom, which has a bathroom in it as well. This one's the smallest bedroom, but it's still super nice. It has a bunch of windows, three on this side and two over here. We have a walk-in closet and something else you guys might notice is that there's a bunch of rugs in the space. I don't know if you could see them or not, but the owners left all the rugs and told me I can keep them if I want to or do whatever I want with them. And then we have this really pretty stained glass pendant. I actually love this. I think I wanna keep it in this space because I feel like it's pretty for a guest room. And then last but not least in this unit is this pink and green bathroom. It needs work, you guys. Like all the tiles broken. It is completely like mismatched. All of the bars are broken as well. It's like really, really damaged in here. So I'm feeling like this bathroom's gonna have to be redone sadly and the bathtub's also in really bad condition so that is the bottom unit so let's go ahead and head into the top unit which is the one that we're primarily going to be living in and then the lower unit is going to be the one that's kind of going to be lone fox workshop i don't even know what it's going to be we'll have to see <laughs> We're outside of the upstairs unit and we are going to head on in. Now, something I didn't really tell you guys about, which I should have probably mentioned, is that I actually am planning on opening up the wall here. So the wall I wanna open up right around here with a big arch, right when you walk in, and this actually connects up to the other side of the living room. So that first space we walked in with the egg window, this is one of those living room walls and I wanna connect them up that way. So that's my ideas for that. But then there's this nice grand stairwell that leads to the upstairs unit unit and this stairwell just feels so amazing like it has all of these coved ceilings there's like a big pendant light this big huge arched window I love it so much but we are gonna head on into the living room you guys are not ready for what is around the corner this is why I bought this place this is what I've been waiting to share with you and this is the living room <laughs> going to be what I'm actually utilizing as the living room and it is so grand like I love the cathedral ceiling the cathedral ceiling also features like original stenciling and it's in such a beautiful color it's like green red and orange 
I don't know, there's just something about the ceiling. All the homes I looked at needed to have some form of like architectural interest in one of the ceiling lines. And this is one that did it for me. I loved it so, so much. There's so many windows in here as well. And there's a stained glass window as well, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that just because it doesn't provide too much light. And I wanna have more of like open windows where you can see out. They're not original by the way. And then over here, I love this space too. It's like a little nook off the living room, but I wanna turn this into to my office area so where I edit and I might have like a desk right here with some bookcases behind but this also has the original beams in it with the stenciling on it and there are actually two like arched built-ins on either side which you guys can't see but I'll put some b-roll clips right over here is a balcony a freaking balcony and so I want to put a bunch of plants on here because sadly with this apartment it doesn't have as much like nature and greenery outside of the windows as my old one so that is the living room you guys in this little nook that's kind of off the living room that's going to be the office we have another cute built-in right over here and then working our way into the hallway area there's just a little hall closet or kind of like a little cleaning closet, if you will, and a window in the closet. We love that. And then this is the dining space. So I actually, when looking at this place, was considering ripping out all three walls in here, but they're all structural. So it's gonna cost me over $100,000 to have all three walls removed. And with that, it was also going to require me to basically demolish the entire kitchen underneath so that they could reinforce the walls. And I just said, you know what, I'm not gonna do that. I think I'd rather just keep this as a dining room and have the kitchen a little bit more separated. So this dining room also features original beams and we have another funky like fixture in here. And then right over on this side, we have a balcony and this balcony leads to the courtyard. You guys, I feel like Rapunzel, like I'm gonna let down my long hair. I don't know, there's just something about this. Like I feel like I'm in Italy or something and I'm just sitting up here. I wanna like give out Halloween candy. <laughs> so whoever decided to make these, made them for a microscopic person because it's very hard to freaking fit through. This is the breakfast nook area. So this is directly above what was the green breakfast nook below. And it's really the same exact layout. It has the same ceiling details. It has our triple arch over here. And then this archway leads directly into the kitchen. And something you're gonna notice about this kitchen is that it is much more renovated than the one below. This one's like completely redone. It has brand new cabinetry in it. It is the same exact layout, but I will say that the renovations made in this apartment were a little iffy. Like I don't love the tile choice that they opted for. I do love the cabinets. I think that they're really beautiful. Countertops, gotta go. Other than that, I mean, it's a pretty great base. And again, we have what's behind me is like an arch tile wall and it's just so visually graphic. I wanna put like a really pretty tile on it so it looks even crazier. Over here is a butler's pantry, which is again, similar to the lower unit, completely redone. Like even the microwave is built into this one. I don't know if you can see that, but the microwave's in there and the cabinets are really nice. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and paint them because they're a little boring and bland as white, but I do love how they install the cabinets. And we have this little coffee bar area as well. And then this leads out into the hallway. Now, you guys are probably gonna be able to tell that these are similar layouts because it, it exactly the same. So in the hallway, we have our first bedroom, which you might tell this one's very orange because the neighbor's house is literally neon red and it bounces back in here a bright orange. So if any of you guys have any ideas on how to counteract that like red bounce back, I'd actually love to know because it happens in this bedroom and then the bedroom below, which is gonna be the Lone Fox like studio area. But I love how they literally like installed TV plugs in here. It really is an updated unit, but they kept all the characters which is really nice. So this one again, it has kind of that little alcove over here, which has some shelving. And then right behind, we have a walk-in closet behind the door. And this room has a pop-out bay window as well, which is a little different. The lower one doesn't. And then we work our way out. And this hallway is really fun because there is a stained glass window up here, which is interesting. The lighting again, you guys, what is this light? Literally, what is this. We have some stained glass up here. I want to replace that and actually extend it out longer and put like legit stained glass in it as opposed to this, what looks like millifori or whatever that type of glass is. It kind of reminds me of that, but it's not my favorite. 
So then over here, this is where the pink bathroom was in the lower unit, but this bathroom of course has been renovated. They put these sconces on the wall, which aren't even like properly wired. You can literally like see the backside and they're on a screw and the bathtub, I could pick it up. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but <laughs> I can do that. Um, and then we have a double vanity here, a shower behind, and then working our way into here, this actually leads right into my bedroom. I really like how this has this kind of little hallway alcove in my room as well, because there's this additional closet storage space for like winter clothing, and then even more storage underneath. But this, you guys, is my new bedroom. I love it so much. It's probably about the same size. Actually, it might be a little smaller than my old bedroom, not gonna lie, but the vibes are great. Like, I really love it. The chandelier has gotta go though because it is a little bit low um, and it's heavy and it's just not my vibe but this room's so pretty it has these pop-out bay windows over here we have so much lighting in here which lighting is key for me like that's the thing that I look for the most so I love that and then in here which it might be able to might be a little hard to get in here because there's all these pads on the ground, but another closet, it's a walk-in closet, very similar. It's actually, I mean, identical to the one below. And then we can work our way out here, which again, you guys, it looks the same. They are mirrored units. So we have another closet here, those same built-ins, but they actually redid them with the new cabinetry. This is the last bedroom. This is a small little corner kind of guest room. And I love it. I love the lighting that this room gets. We have a walk-in closet over here, which is really nice. And since I have been showing you guys too many of the closets I might as well share this one look at that and we even have like a little cord to pull the light that's fun this has an attached bathroom now the bathroom underneath was the pink one with the green tile this one was renovated but it definitely needs a little bit of help because like the shelf isn't even attached but I do think it's kind of cute in here it's a small little bathroom and I have some design ideas and our last space is through the bathroom and also does connect directly to the kitchen over here but this is the laundry room which has new cabinetry we have the cove ceiling a new countertop new washer and dryer I guess I will share with you guys the backyard it's nothing crazy I will say it's gonna be a humongous work in progress but let's head downstairs where I'll show you guys the last space which is the backyard so here is the back Backyard, and like I mentioned, there isn't too much happening back here. It is a huge concrete slab. So the backyard is completely blank. We have this large gazebo, which I think is gonna be leaving before moving in. I mean, it's just a large backyard, concrete pad. I have no idea what I wanna do back here. I'm thinking of maybe doing like a pool scenario or doing like parking. I just, I don't know yet. So it's definitely gonna be something that I'm gonna be working on, but I think it's gonna be a really fun project. I've never done an outdoor space before. And having this like large flat area, I can only imagine the possibilities. So if you guys have any ideas, I would love to know as well. And that is the empty house tour, you guys. I feel like I don't have too much else to share with you. This video is probably extremely long um, and I'll do a proper outro back at the apartment. Oh my gosh, you guys, how crazy was that video? That was my empty house tour. And you're probably wondering where I am at the moment. I am actually at my parents' house. I came here for my mom's birthday and we ended up going to Las Vegas for the weekend, which was so much fun. And we went to a Cirque du Soleil show, which was actually one of my biggest dreams in life as well, was to go to a Cirque du Soleil show. I've been talking about it since I was super young. So I bought a house and went to a Cirque du Soleil show in 2022. I mean, that seems pretty amazing to me. And I cannot wait to start making over this space. Now, I know I didn't really clarify the logistics of this home, but I do want to mention that the house is 4,600 square feet. Now, keep in mind, it is a duplex. So it's split between the two units, 2,300 square feet per unit, which is extremely large for a duplex, but each one is three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So combined, we have six bedrooms and four bathrooms that I'm converting into a single family home. And we are going to be doing that together here on the channel. So if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand home decor and DIY content every single week and I am boosting up my upload schedule you guys I'm going to start posting about two videos a week um, and I am so excited I have some in the works already there is already stuff happening at the house so make sure you are subscribed make sure you are following me over on Instagram and TikTok which is Lone Fox Home because I share so much more behind the scenes over there than I do here on YouTube and you guys are not even ready for my next video I got my landlord I got my landlord to be in a tour you guys, I did it. And it's coming out next. So make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.